Trash Week. That is a brilliant idea. We love that. We will uh, try and... We're going to implement that idea. Yeah. I like it. You get audio. Am I missing anything out of my outline? Uh, There's no Justin. Uh, it's broken. I don't know why. Justin There's is no broken. Justin. Go to Ustream or YouTube. Correct? We're on YouTube. Yeah. Sorry, okay. guys. It's broken. It's not our fault. Well... It's, it's probably our, our fault. fault. <laughs> I just wanted, for the record, I did not fix Justin. <laughs> I fix a lot of things. I did not fix Justin TV, okay? Uh, they changed something, I think. They, they changed, changed something. something as a result. Our little automated thing doesn't work anymore out there. Uh, we, we have to make some changes. We don't have time to do it right now. So, today's super casual day. We're shorthanded. We are down two people. Yeah. Ken is single-handedly going to muscle through. Guys, give big props to yeah. him for doing it all by himself. Everybody clap in the chat room for clap, Ken. Clap, clap. Ken Tran. Ken Pop Tran, everyone. Pablo is actually at home working on a project for us. Hopefully, he fi finishes that soon. Yeah. Oh, sweet. He actually bought a box, so I can take mine home. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. Wow. He could be here running the camera. He could be. He texted me this afternoon. Why isn't he in the chat room, huh? <laughs> Rami's saying hi. Did you see hey, that? Hey, Rami. I did not see that. I'm trying I to... I said hi to Rami earlier. I said hi to Rami in the chat room while I was typing. Okay. All right. Who messed up Geek Beat Live? Geek Beat Dash Live? Just because it, it has the chat room separate from... Oh, yeah. Because we have the chat room yeah. and the live stream we'll separately, I think. We'll have to work on that. How's it going? Cool. I Go. think... Uh, w is Mr. Foster here? What? Yeah. Yes, the page yeah, is custom page, made. Yeah, the page is custom. What does Callie's t-shirt say? Come to the nerd side. We have pi. Pi. What does that mean? I, I don't even under. I don't get it. You don't get it, right? You don't get it. Right. I, I believe that. Thanks, Scott. No, that's all right. We're. You know what? It's a it's a casual kind of day anyway. We've got a lot going on, and we're just going to talk. We're just going to have some fun, as opposed to uh, having to talk about stuff, like read stories. What are you texting, John? The Fox 4 people want me to come on tonight. <laughs> but, I, I mean... The same story? The one from the other day, I guess. Really? So they decided it was a story. Yeah, you've got a, a few things going on tonight. We've got to go celebrate. I'm inviting myself to the celebration. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, Digital Phil, I, I, I decided uh, that I would drink my Verve instead of uh, my red, use my red Solo cup. Monty asks, how does it feel to officially own a building? <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Well, we'll get into that in a bit. <laughs> Wee, Giovanni, welcome. I can't believe you're actually joining Our in. roomie. Our, our roomie, yes. Yeah, Jay Taz, we, uh, we could use a few more laptops and devices on, on this screen. Oh, we can kill the other one, the one that's pointing out that way. I will do that. Do I kill it from here, or is he doing it online? Uh, no, I'll do it online, yeah. That was even sweet. I was trying to get over to render. By the way, I just would like to say that uh, I am literally in love with at Holly Pose, yes? Yes, with at Holly Pose. But I am literally in love with the Acer Aspire R7 I as know well. I you are. You're thinking I, about moving to that thing, I love you? this thing. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. Giovanni's bored. bored? Entertain me. Where did he say that? He said, I'm bored. <gasps> nice. Ah, he said, I like the chat room separate from the live feed. Do you, Tommy? Yeah. That was Tommy, not Gio. Oh, that was Tommy. Yeah. It was snuck in between the geos. Yeah, the same color. Good Did afternoon, you... Sheila friend. Hey, welcome. 
uh, J uh, somebody asked, uh, oh, Digital Phil wanted to know uh, how Paul, how much Paul had to pay to get mentioned on every episode this week. Oh, did he get mentioned every episode? <laughs> Not every episode. Good at God. Least, at least two of the four, though. Wow. <laughs> uh, let me just check something here. I'm checking my email. Uh, W9 Ahmed is leaving just as the fun is beginning. Oh, Bye. sorry, we're going to miss you. But don't worry, you won't miss anything good. I mean, That's it's true. just it's just us. It's just a show. <laughs> it's, there's better things you could be doing. Uh, yes, Brett O, oh, I will be going to NAB with Callie. Yes, indeed. Yes. We we may we may have some super secret NAB information Other plans, plans and, yeah. and news coming out that so we're not yet releasing. Look but for that. Might, we might or we might not have some plans. You never know. You just don't know what's going on at any time with us. Do you have airline tickets yet? No. Uh, no, we don't have airline tickets yet, but... Don't worry, I'm on it. Yeah. No, we don't have hotel rooms. <laughs> Silly kin. You know better than that. Tech guy wants you to uh, slap me. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm totally willing to do. I just I just want to know why I'm slapping John. Yeah, when with, I do why it. this time? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I just wanted to be noted that I don't see any PayPal payments in my email box. So for yeah, oh, no, no, that's right. no PayPal payments. So no naming the toilets rights have not been named. No naming rights have been sold yet to the toilets <laughs> in uh, the new building. So welcome, Jason. Uh, first time here. Thanks for joining us. Thank yeah. you for watching. Way and, to go. Uh, we're hoping this is. This is not a normal show, just so you know. No, today is not what you would normally expect, but hopefully it'll be even more fun than normal. Just because we have Where, where's your, no Where's your makeup, John? Real I, I need to powder your head, apparently. Gio, Gio says there's a shine. Do I, is there a shine? <laughs> there's no amount of powder that will stop this shine. Brett O. Anyway. Um, the info on the panel is somewhere. We got it on the website. I think we have it the on panel, the website. You, the Tom yeah. Green panel. Uh, Geo, this isn't a shine. That's my aura. Okay, you can't. It's like, like when an angel is captured on video, you can't really get rid of that. Uh, oh God. Okay, they could turn out all the lights. This doesn't. This isn't a reflection. It's an emanation. Nice, John. That's, okay. That's beautifully said. Thank you. Coming from a devil. Thank you. <laughs> we have to masquerade as the other kind because you know. I'm not they very don't well do it in supernatural. There are people always trying to like stab me in the heart with p stakes and stuff. I'm like, you can stab me in the heart all you want with that stake. I'm still gonna kill you. <laughs> that doesn't do it. Oh, Diego, that don't worry. That doesn't do it for me. We'll have unboxings. No worries about that. Oh yeah, we're gonna unbox stuff here. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Ben got you. Ben got you the Tom Green to moderate oh. NAB panel featuring Geek Beats, Callie Lewis, Chris Thank Angel, you, ben. Rob Barnett. It'll be streamed at uh, newtech.com, so that's pretty much all you need to know, I think. Okay, there you go. Did Zoomer retire? No, Zoomer didn't retire. Well, but Zoomer is not here. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's in my uh, office. Is he taking a nap as dogs, yeah. as robotic <laughs> dogs often He's sleeping. want to do? There's a supernatural spinoff? Is there really? The Brad asked how you feel about it. I didn't even I know that know existed. I don't know how I feel about it. I, you know I love Supernatural. The, I'm, the still, problem, I'm still working my way through it. The problem with Supernatural is in the later episodes, like in the in the, the last few seasons, it's gotten awfully soap opera-y, which kind of bothers me a bit. But I will have to take a look. If somebody can tell me what it is, I will take a look at the spinoff. I might like it. And Flash Wheat, the, uh, the torture has not begun yet, so John can eat or drink anything he wants until, until Monday. Monday. Monday, God help me. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, the Brad's only on season three. Season three uh, is still good. Yeah. In fact, it gets better and better all the way till the end of season five. And that's all I'm going to tell you since you're on season three. You have at least two more seasons after this one to really enjoy it. To really enjoy before it. Before Shizzle goes downhill. Fast. I, I'm not, I don't think it really went downhill. Bye, Rabu. Bye, Rabu. Thanks for joining. Thank you.
Uh, and yes, Sheila friend, I will explain all about that when we get started. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, John and Lee wants to know, will we be reviewing the upcoming Samsung Chromebook 2? Why, indeed we will. I do indeed hope we're going to be doing that. And also, the, our friends at Acer are going to be sending us their new touchscreen Chromebook. So I think that the Samsung and the Acer are really, from my experience, two great Chromebooks. I'm yeah. looking forward to this next gen yeah, to see how they do. I'm how excited they, by them. What, the, what they change. Yes. And uh, Paul asked uh, what your last meal will be on Sunday before Monday. Well, begins. you know what my last meal is going to be. Freebirds. Freebirds. Of course it's going to be Freebirds. So you're, Sunday night you're going to go out. You're going to Gorge eat on Freebirds. Freebirds. Have tacos, nachos, everything. Oh, mmm, Freebirds. <laughs> and then I don't know what, then, on, honestly, then. We have no idea what we're going to be eating uh, come Monday. I don't even get to choose what I'm going to be no, eating. You don't. Because Todd said he's going to be bringing me pre-packaged food, I have to eat that. And we don't even know what that is. Six times is. a day or something crazy. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I literally, <laughs> I, I literally don't know what to tell you because I don't know what's going to happen yet. Yeah. So. Mm. Brian, yes. In your honor, we will have twice as much fun today because you can't make it next week. So don't worry about that. That's right. That's right. NYC 10256. I love Geek Beat. Geek Thank Beat you. loves you. <laughs> Glad you're able to join us today. So Eric says a panel with Chris Angel. That sounds interesting. It should be. It should be. Uh, Sheila asked where we got the cool uh, plush Dalek. You don't I'm, even know. You hold on. You don't even know. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about it. What, do you, what is our intro going to be, John? Dalek. Exterminate. What's our intro going to be? Just, we have, do you have the keys? I have the keys. Okay. So just, we got the keys and then welcome to Geek Beat kind of thing. Geek Beat Life. I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. We got the keys. Welcome to Geek Beat. Yeah, I think it's just as simple as that, right? <sighs> Sounds good to me. <clears throat> All right, just whenever. No, no worries. You gonna hold them up? Exterminate the Geek Beat website. No, remember? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yes, I know the Brad. It's not Dalek. It's Dalek. 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 Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> Are, am I gonna do a review of the Acer R7? Haven't yes. You, haven't you already? I have not actually officially oh. done it, which sucks because wow. I should. I, I really, I need to do that. I, What's up with you, Zoran? I'm going to do that. But also, early next week, we're doing the review of the uh, HP yeah. uh, Z1 G2. Yes. And that's a good, that's a good we're, one. We're, doing, we're putting that one out. We're also putting out the new, the review of the new Kef. 300 yeah. uh, speakers, the wireless, yeah. the white wireless, beautiful yes, speakers. Yes, we're putting out those reviews next week. Ed, the uh, unique And more geek. stuff, and um, more stuff. Ed, uh, actually we have a whole new series of stuff coming up, thanks to David Foster, uh, yeah. for Google Hangouts, so look for that. It's called, I think we're a temper, we're calling it for now at least, uh, Geeks and Gear. Geeks, geeks and, and Gear. Is it Geeks and Gear or Geeks and Gadgets? I think it's Geeks and Gear. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's David Foster's baby. But um, next Monday, actually this coming Monday, uh, we he's doing an interview of me to kick it off. And then the following week you'll be on. Oh, or, my God. Or is it two weeks from then? They're going to interview me? They're going to interview you. And then... He has a whole lot of other really cool people that we're going to be interviewing. Anyway, those will all be hangouts on air, so look forward to that. Yeah, there's some discussion. Bobbage is saying new building owner fan. 180k is the down payment. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. it's more than that. But uh, wait, uh, the, the the number I we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. we'll talk about it. John uh, Lee said the liquid ass prank was hilarious. Nice. By the way, wasn't that hilarious? I was laughing so hard I could barely stand there and film it. That's legitimate laughter. I mean, I really was having a good time. I was a little disappointed 
that uh, it took so long for Curly to react. I know, me too. But I honestly think part of it is, you know, we joke around with Curly a lot, but he's a really polite kind of guy. Yeah, okay? yeah we, he is. In fact, everybody here, <laughs> even though I know, uh, you know, we joke around and there, there are certain personalities that we display publicly, but in reality, if you meet anyone here in the office, we're all very polite. And yeah, we, we would go beyond our way to not hurt anyone's feelings it's a, it's outside a, of it, the joking publicly. You it's know. actually a very Texan culture thing. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it really is. Like, uh, it's, it's something I think Texans generally uh, kind of pride themselves on being polite. We still open the door for each other. Right. Um, you Hold know, on. Welcome, Callie Lewis fan 69. Well, thank you for joining us for your first time from Nebraska. From Nebraska, yes. Right. Hello. Keep going. <laughs> well, I'm just saying in Texas, we do. We honestly, we hold the door open for people. We we always say hello and we greet one another and we, we try and be polite. So oh, I think... That's Phil. Darn it. Uh-huh. So I think that when he smelled something, he was probably he was at first... To, uh, you know, he's like, okay, not make somebody, a big deal out of it. somebody had a little bit of a problem, and I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> but he could not even he, he, that. You couldn't even, even the politeness. Well, the funny thing, it is, overpowered the politeness. He's like, oh my god. The funny thing is, is uh, Scott Cubby actually had tested the water, yeah. like hours before, right? He had pumped he was, it. He was in. Oh, oh we don't need that anywhere around me. She doesn't want this. Go. You can't even take the cap off. If you take no, the don't cap even do off, that. it's wretched. Okay? <laughs> it's wretched just taking the cap off. Okay. So, anyway, anyway yeah. so the he funny thing was is he, he had sprayed some, a little bit in the room and then left. before and left and Curly didn't say anything. He thing. didn't say anything. I, and it must have been, he must have been suffering, but he was probably thinking to himself, Oh my God. What the hell climbed up in Scott Cublin? I mean, oh my God. He was but probably he was, like, you know, just wow. He okay. Didn't say but anything. you're not going to say anything to somebody who's having a problem. <laughs> and it even gets me laughing, which is odd. Yeah. Because John I says don't we laugh should, at these kinds of John things. says we should do a harmless prank on every new employee and post it. Yeah. Hey, did you see, John, did you see a while back I did an episode on pranks? I don't know. Maybe somebody can find it. Ben Agu, welcome from Ontario, Canada. Thanks for joining us. Yes, welcome. So maybe somebody okay. can find it, but I had a, uh, I, I had a, a, post that I did, an, an episode, a daily show about pranks. Is that why Hey, they're not saying here? Uh, the picture is gray. Is the pi what did we white balance? Gray. We probably oh. didn't white balance, did we? It's balanced. What do you mean by gray? I don't it's know. It's kind of dull. What I did you guys mean? What they mean? Does the picture look know. okay? Rami says, fix light, Dave. Welcome, Dave Trace. Is, by the way, Dave isn't here today. Fix the light on the cams. I don't know. Maybe we're... Is every new person Hang filled? on, we'll, we'll white balance it. Really? You guys hang on. So I can't trust anybody saying they're new here? Here's how we white balance, guys, just for fun, so you can see this. So we have this little target, and we put it right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the camera, and I'm going to zoom in on the camera. I'll zoom in to, like, <laughs> fill that up on the screen. And then you can't see this part, I don't think, but on the screen here, I'm going to function, like dream filter. white balance... And then I'm doing custom white balance, set white balance, and now it's doing its little automatic thing. Bang! Now that white balance is set, uh, which it may it may not make a change because it may have already been white balanced. But let's see. So now I'm moving that away, and I'll zoom back out because we're on that TV there. No, you don't, Digital Phil. You hate me. How does that look? Is that better? That's what happens when I white balance. Well, zoom out. I mean, oh, he's got a different camera on. Is that, uh, Ken, is that where we want to be? That looks better. About like that? So how, how, does the, how does the color look, guys? Did that make a difference? I think it's almost the same, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty, pretty close. So I had just, uh, uh-oh, NYC. Oh. They're going to boot you out of there if you keep doing that. Um, so... Does that make any difference? Because I think we were already white balanced and it looked like this before. No, it looks a little 
helpful one? A little bit better? A little better. No, better. Dr. Ogden says cur- better. I think Curly usually actually colors, col- colorifies it. Yeah, he probably adds a little color. He, do- he likes to Everybody do that. Everybody says it's a little better. I think he uses Prancer Color on the podcast. Yeah, I think that's what Oh, he John does. said he hadn't seen that video. He's trying to find it. Hey, did anybody find that link to that video uh, uh, where I did the, the, the office office pranks or something like that? Oh, that's right. That was a, a daily show, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I think uh, we're ready to go, pretty much. We're ready to go. Okay. We'll, we'll do an opening just straight to the middle camera, is run the intro, and then come, come back. Welcome, VA. All right. Ready, John? Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Hey, guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. We got the keys. Welcome to Geek Beat. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today's a super casual day. Yes, it's going to be uber casual. We don't really have too many tech stories, uh, but we do well, have actually, big news. No, in all fairness, we had a full show today because Ben did all the homework. Yeah. And then it Callie was a good told show him. Too. And then Callie told him, you know what? I don't care that you did all that work. We're not going to even do anything with it. Isn't that pretty much what happened? That's pretty much what I said. Pretty much what happened. Well, but we were so busy today. Yeah. We didn't even get here to the office until like an hour before the show started. And so I just said, scrap it. We're going to talk about what we've been doing all day. And what is that, John? We bought a building and these are the keys to the building. And I have them in my grubby little head. And I will hands. take those from you. Because we all know what you did to the website. Nobody wants you fixing the building. So keys are mine until you prove yourself, I guess. Hey, I don't think that I don't I don't see what the big deal is about the website. Okay, <laughs> to be frankly. I mean to be honest. I, I I did fix the website. You fixed it. You you broke it last night. Uh, How does late, the website look right now? Late last night. Oh uh, wait wait stop. You, you, Before- you posted a Google Plus post. I didn't even get a Skype heads up or a text message or a call or anything like that. I found out via Google Plus that you broke the freaking website. Well, it's because I would get in trouble. <laughs> I mean, frankly, it's because I was getting in trouble. But look at the website now. It actually looks really nice. Thanks we to have David Foster. Yes. And, and Scott Coblin and, and Scott Ellis in no particular order. And not me. And not you. No, you got to thank me too. Because you broke it, so That's they had right. to fix it. If, you, if I did not start off the chain of events that led to the work that was being done, you would not have the website you have right now. True or false? That is true. So therefore, who fixed the website? You. See, even he agrees. <laughs> Callie has I was a new hoping pet. that would be the exterminate. Let's try again. Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> Callie has a new pet. You actually got this for me. I did get that for you. Why why do you keep buying me robots? Uh, I like him. He's cute. You I, are an enemy of the Daleks. You must be destroyed. He's awesome. He has like five different sayings or something. <laughs> I don't know why I got that for you because I have heard that stupid. Res- I have heard that thing like I don't know five hundred times in the last twenty four hours now. Right. I just my keep- dad's here. My Welcome, dad's in the Dad. house. What's up, Pop? We'll get you a chair. Okay, there's a chair. So anyway, back to the website. We do have a lot new uh, of new functionality to the website now, which is something we weren't planning to roll out for another couple of months. But whatever, you hey, get it now. See, he just I expedited up, things. He upped the date. I did it for you guys. 
<laughs> well, what's funny is we have on the whiteboard in the conference room like a whole list of dates of this is going to happen on the uh -huh. website, this is going to happen, uh -huh. and, and then we go launch on like April 1st. And when were, when, when were they going to happen? Uh, I'm sorry, what? When were they going to happen? Uh, in like a month or two. And when did they happen? Last night. What is the job of a CEO? <laughs> push the team, push it forward, <laughs> progress. Why would I let everybody, you know, procrastinate for two months to give you, the people, what you want when you could have had it today? <laughs> Who's your hero? All right, Who's so your hero? With that, John, you're a people's hero. Who I'm is sure. looking out for you? <laughs> I want you to remember this when election time comes around next time because John P. stands for president. for president. What's the P stand for? President. P stands for president. All right, so we have forums now, which is awesome. Uh, you guys can get to know each other. You have to log, you have to create a, a profile, log in, and, and use the forums, introduce yourself. Let's talk. Um, you know, we have the 24-7 chat room, but this is a good way to keep logs of stuff and uh, have another discussion uh, place. So use those. Also, any... You can also friend each other. You can friend each other. I have all sorts of friends now. Yeah. I'm finally friended. I never had friends before. I know. Now it's I awesome. have friends. Uh, what you can do is, if you go to the website... Um, <laughs> but TXRX says, but Kelly's the president. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Anyway. <laughs> if you go to the website, what happens is first you log in. Okay. When you go to the website over on the right, can you scroll up a little, Ken? Maybe you're already logged in. I don't know. Um, yeah, he but should probably, he's in probably already right. logged in. But when you, when you look on the website up on the top right corner, you see there where Ken's logged in, you see his smiling little face. Yeah. If that you would don't, be a login box. If you don't have a membership on the site yet, it's free, so just create a login, okay? And once you log in, then, like, I can't see yours right now, Ken, but at the top, it says, uh, it says, like, uh, something like about account. other geeks or something. Oh. Where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, it says my account. And then there's a little drop-down menu that says fellow geeks. That's where things get fun because if you click fellow geeks, it pulls up a listing of like all the other folks and you can be like friend me, friend you, friend you. Fr Where's fellow geeks? I don't see that. You got to hover ho hover over my account. Oh. oh. Ah. You I'm hover. still learning the website because I would have had more time to learn the website had John not pushed it out last night. Hey. Anyway, you hover your mouse over my account, and it and down there, the third one from the bottom, fellow geeks. And when you click on it, you see all the people who are registered. You can like scroll pages, and cool. if you see somebody you know or you want to be a friend, you can send them an invite. It doesn't mean they're going to friend you back. No. Okay. They may ignore you. But we're a pretty friendly community. But we're all pretty friendly, so you can friend them. Now, when you friend people, is that Trace? Here's something you did not know. When you friend people, later you could create your own group and you can invite your friends into your group so that you can have your own private discussions yeah. in the forums. I like that. And that's like on us, on the infrastructure right. we have. So you can, you can create your own little special groups. You don't have to host anything anywhere. It's that's on awesome. our infrastructure, which of course our friends over at Synthesis provide all that. So yeah. they keep it up and running and managed and all that stuff. And so, how cool is that? That is awesome. And, um, yeah, so you can do all of that. Uh, if you, since it, this was a push out and we didn't really have time to, you know, go through and fix everything. Are you, how many times are you, you going to bring that up? <laughs> if you find bugs or any kind of issues, they're in the forum. There is a topic already for bugs and issues, so just put it in there. Make sure you include your OS, your browser, and your resolution. That way, uh, the David Foster and the Scotts, Cublin and Ellis can uh, work on that and make sure everything's fixed. Yes, yes. Welcome. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're we're just casual here. Don't interview me. Right, right. Next thing you know, you're on set and getting right. Be behind <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> He's, he, that's my dad. Yeah. Well, hello, Dad. <laughs> we have a visitor. Yes, we do. That, that is, is Callie. Callie. 
Yes, oh, you're we're live you're streaming. Are you okay with that? Is, just so you, you know, can do it. It's all right. Come on in. Uh, come on then. Why not? <laughs> we have a visitor what in the house, this? people. What do you have? Whoa! A special delivery? I, a special I'm delivery from the dark chocolate bakery. Wow. wow! I'm willing to bet that would be Lynn's doing. You are correct. Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, it's all your fault. Lynn. Nice. It's so funny because he, he, the restaurant and said, "There's Lynn right there." Behind the restaurant, and she said, "Text me what you need." Oh yeah, nice, yeah. Nice, nice, awesome. awesome. Well, thank you. Thank You're you very so welcome. much. You're so, very so welcome. tell me about you guys. Darkchocolatebakery.com. Darkchocolatebakery.com. We're an online only bakery. We oh. ship nationwide. Yummy. And we're one of the biggest suppliers for Neiman Marcus. Wow. And uh, it's darkchocolatebakery.com. Cool. You can just go at any time to the website and check it out. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Oh my God. Can we? Uh, hey, Cublin. Cublin. Cubby. Come do your job, Cublin. <laughs> Get, get the zoom up camera. Zoom in, zoom in. Work the camera. Oh my gosh. Wow, those are amazing. That is incredible. So what are these? Yeah, what do we have? Yeah, hold on. Let's get the, uh, before you start Please pointing. Do. Yes, there we go. what do we have this here? So funny. Okay, so this is the San Miguel, and this okay. is made with tequila. Ooh. Oh. Okay, that's mine. Okay. <laughs> They're all made with dark chocolate, but yes, tequila is my favorite. Um, and this is the chili truffle cake. Chili truffle cake. The flourless cake, but it's made with paella, which is a little bit oh, of spice. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. This is the regular signature truffle. It's also a flourless cake, but it's super moist. And uh, this is the strawberry mousse cake. Oh, goodness. Wow. That's yours. There you yeah. go. And this is the classic chocolate cake. Nice. And there's two of those. There's two of those. Awesome. Wow. So it's all about dark chocolate. Okay. Oh. That... make it with Sharpenberger chocolate, Valrona chocolate. As and, I understand uh, it, dark chocolate is actually healthy for you. So I think that when you think we start be on the diet, diet okay? on Monday, that will be fine. Right? I don't think so. I think you're going to have to eat those before Monday. <laughs> okay. Uh, dark chocolate's good for you until you add butter. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right. Well, that was unexpected. That's awesome. All right. We'll try. Okie dokie. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lynn. As always, food yes. porn on Geek Beat, awesome, indeed. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, well, that was a surprise. That was. Uh, what were we talking about? I, it doesn't matter, it really, doesn't matter. does it? You would make a good Dalek. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, I'll put the Dalek Oh, we were talking away. about the website. The website, right. And things you can do with it and stuff. Yes. Um, so, oh, and coming up soon, um, we told you guys we were trying to work on a system to be able to, you know, sell the t-shirts oh, on yeah. a more regular basis and all of that. The building will help with that um, inventory and having the ability to fulfill stuff. Um, but you will see in there a shopping cart. Nothing's in there yet. Oh, we actually have the store link? I think so. It says store. But you can't actually buy it. It says yeah, shop. There, oh, look. Yeah, there is nothing there. There is something. Oh. Bad parking oh, the bad cards. bad parking cards are there. The last time I looked, there weren't. Let me click on that. So you can get still some get the bad parking cards, but... Can you buy up, them right now? Well, that was live before. It says get some cards. Get some cards. Let me click on it. Get some cards. Yeah, it uh, looks like uh, we still have it live. It, well, that you didn't break that. That's add good. to cart. Uh, yeah. I didn't break that. You didn't. You didn't fix that part. So that's I didn't good. fix it. Um, <laughs> How about that? You can actually still buy some cards on there. So um, we have a store yeah. with one item in the store. Yay! Coming up, we will have more hopefully soon. So keep an eye on that. Anyway, that's the website. Uh, Again, still work in progress. So if you no no getting upset about anything, just let us know what's going on. Yeah, if go over and if you if you uh, if you see something that needs to be improved, go to the log in, go to the forums, and leave a uh, leave a comment. Yeah. And and three things th or three important things. We need to know what operating system you're on. Yeah. What resolution your screen is in, and what browser are you using? Yeah. Like Windows, 1280 by 1024, and Internet Explorer. Why, and then, why are you using Internet Explorer? Because. And then, if you can, attach a screen capture as well so that we can see what it is. You know, that yeah. way. That way we can get it fixed. If you do that there, that'd be great. Jaw Good got his bad parking cards today. Yay! International order, thanks. Nice. Enjoy. All right. All right. So that's the website. Mm -hmm. Our other update, as you heard, is that we did get the keys to the new building. So we did. Yay! Um, we went through closing this morning, and if you weren't paying attention to my Twitter or Google Plus, um, I like I live blogged the entire 
that was series me. of events. That was at about 8.55. It was. Uh, standing outside of Bank of America. That's leaving Bank of America. And going driving to the closing place. To clo that's actually... At closing, signing, we're signing our lives away. The, uh, I actually newborn children. Can you believe that Callie has empowered me to sign her into obligations like that? <laughs> I actually had the power to sign her to like thirty years worth of indentured <laughs> servitude. Sure, that is true. <laughs> That's me doing it well, right there. Well, I appreciate and it, look, John. And look, look at that. And look. That's us our getting awesome the keys. Seller. Who uh, gave us the keys? Yeah. John was a happy man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was. The, and, and then, oh yeah, yeah. When, when we, we got to the building, they wanted to give us a walk around, give us the keys, um, you know, all the keys because there are a lot more, and the fobs and um, yeah. just a few more details. We saw on the conference room whiteboard that they uh, left us a little nice little yeah. message. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. And and some of you might be wondering, you know, Shocker said, so Bank of America owns a new building. <laughs> Actually, it's no. BB&T. Yeah, BB&T BB owns a new building, but our name is somehow attached to it. But yes, somehow. pretty much BB&T owns a building. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, some of you might be wondering, I saw a comment in there somewhere, um, that, uh, you know, wow, you're, you're actually like friendly with the, uh, seller yeah. and everything. Yes, we are. It was a... We have to was, tell that story though, because that's funny. Okay. Well, first of all, um, first of all, the, in this case, this building has an unusual past. Yes. So the uh, the company that occupied this building before us was an insurance agency. And insurance agency are subject to regulations mm -hmm. like banks and other fiduciary kind of institutions. And when they have problems, bad things happen to them. Yeah. And this particular one had a problem and so a regulatory agency took over control. And when they do, they they send in a team to try and turn it around if possible, and if not possible, then they have to take drastic measures, including, let's say, liquidating assets and things like that. That's what was going on in this case. So the building we bought was actually in receivership, yep. which, if it were a commercial business, would be the equivalent of bankruptcy, okay? So the building was, ba basically, they went bankrupt, okay? and so. We got, a, we got a pretty good deal on the building, I think. Um, but what comes along with that is a, a much more difficult process of purchasing because the courts are involved. So literally everything we did had to go before a judge to get signed off yeah. on. Yeah, that, that you know, delayed the process a little bit. But uh, it turns out, I mean, we actually got through the system uh, faster than normal. Yeah, she, she although said it, it, it was faster than normal, but yeah, although it took a long time. It did take a long time. So what happened during the process, because we had to go in and do, ju go through so many hoops. We were in there all the time. Like every other day, we kept going in there. We weren't telling any of you guys this, but this has been going on since December. Yeah. It's taken a while. And we got friendly with the people that were working there who were, were again, they're like... Uh, they're like people overseeing it. So right. they weren't emotionally attached to any of this. They're managing the process. And we're all friendly with one another. We just wanted to have a fair outcome. Yep. And so we became friends. And then today, when we went to closing, they had the sellers there before us. Yes, so usually what happens in a closing situation is the seller goes in, signs all the paperwork, they have less paperwork than we do, and then they vacate the premises, then we come in, you know, they try and separate the entire process, the two teams, um, and then we go in, we sign our paperwork, and Because it's so leave. adversarial up to that point. Right, most, most sales are like, <laughs> like both sides like, are at each other's throats, get, you know, and they're like, by the time they go to closing, trying to make, they, they hate know. each other. Yeah, and so no one wants to see that, and it can cause problems, maybe fights, whatever. And so we get there, we get sent back, and the sellers are still finishing up their paperwork, and literally this guy who's... He was the owner of the title company. Oh, he was the owner. He was okay. the owner of the title company. I didn't know His who name he was. was on the title company. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Like, it was like... 
so and so's title company. You know, like, he was like, I'm so and so, and I was like, oh. oh, I forgot his name. I feel bad. I'm sorry, but uh, you so know. he literally like blocked the door to the seller. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. He was like, wait, the sellers are still in there, you know, and uh, you guys need to wait. You know, he's trying to. We're keep like, the it's separation. okay. We they, they asked us to come back. We're all friendly. He's like, I, uh, and then the seller like they came out and they're like, it's okay. They can come in. We're all friendly. So they, they had to tell the people working there. No, we both had to tell them it's okay. We like each other, right. and they were like, "Wow, this is weird." This it, is like odd. we all went in the room together, and nobody was killing each other. Right, we were just <laughs> laughing and cracking jokes and everything. And so, you know, from from that standpoint, it has been a rough process. It's been a very time-consuming process. More surprises than we counted on, but uh, that that part of the process, we have to say, is was nice because. It was great. They're going to come and see what we did with the building after, you know, we're all done with it and everything. So it's all good. You um, guys uh, uh, were asking, uh, there have been a lot of talk because Callie yeah. was tweeting all kinds of stuff, including she tweeted a close-up of our yes. uh, wire transfer that we did this morning. It was over $172,000 uh, that we wire transferred over to the other, uh, you know, side at the closing process. That was only part of the down payment. Yeah, I got um, a couple tweets like, oh, you can buy a building for that much? No. No. <laughs> you can get, you can do a down payment for that much, but yeah. uh, that wasn't even all of it because when you go, when you, when you write a contract, you have to give them earnest money. You have to, you have to write a big check to say, yeah, here's a contract, but we're serious. So here's a bunch of money that you can hang on to until the process is done. So they already had that. Yeah. Plus they got that. Uh, in cash from us because the bank requires you to put money down. And then the bank financed uh, a, a large portion of the purchase price. And then on top of all of that money, uh, we are also spending in the ballpark of about a quarter million dollars on renovations, right. which are going to be starting. So this is a very, very expensive process. And Honestly, we need some help. We need some help from everybody. So we're going to we're going to tell you guys how you can help later and we're going to try and give you things in exchange for that assistance, but make no mistake, the investment that we made Callie and I are actually on the hook personally uh, as well as this company being on the hook to make these payments. And we did it for the community. Yeah. We did not do this just for ourselves. We did this for all of our employees, all of our authors and contributors. We did it for all of you guys who enjoy the show and like being part of the community online and the, you know, everything else. Indeed. This building is your building. Yep. Okay. It's our, it, it's the Royal Our building. It's, it's we. <laughs> it's we, yes, the big we. So. And, and thank you guys to, to those of you who have been supporting us on a month to month basis. Yes. Uh, you know, that's that helps our ongoing costs. Our ongoing costs are going to increase, of course, uh, going into the new building. Uh, like he said, we're also going to have a huge amount of renovation cost that's up front and needing to be taken care of right now. So uh, that's where the uh, the new, you know, the new opportunity or opportunities, the new yep. uh, options will come out from you, and, and hopefully we'll get we'll get that out and release next week. And the bottom line is, when it's all done, it's going to be crazy. I'm telling you right now, oh, we have yeah. awesome plans for this building. We so, do. Uh, it's going to be very functional. We're going to have very nice production facilities. We're going to have nice office space, but we're also going to have a lot of very, very, very cool surprises our goal as a team I can't wait to show you guys we want but we can't talk about it yet we want everybody to think I want to take my vacation and go to Dallas <laughs> to go hang out in this building I swear to god that's our goal our goal yeah. is for you guys to be like I have to burn vacation days just to go there and play in this building that's the goal Ho hopefully we will deliver uh, not, Nigel, welcome. Uh, I hope your surgeries went well and that you're that you're feeling better. Yes, hey Nigel. Uh, uh, the most other common question is, when can we see it? We want to see it. We've just seen the outside of it. So come Monday, on Monday's episode of Geek Beat, you will get a walkthrough of the inside of the building, and we'll kind of talk a little bit about uh, what we're planning. So yeah, it's a wreck. 
It is. It don't, is seriously Don't wrecked. expect anything amazing. It looks wretched. But that's the whole point, right? <laughs> we bought a building that we knew needed some work. It's okay because we already have the plans in place to take care of that work. Right. And when we finish remodeling it, it will be impressive. I promise you that. And indeed, there will be Verve on tap. Yeah. Can we get a... Uh, <laughs> Definitely going to have my party there. Can we get a Verve um, kegger? David. That might be able to be arranged. David, can we get a keg full of Verve? That's what I want. I want a keg. I don't want these little cans. I want a keg <laughs> with a tap. And we need that keg that uh, attaches to the Android device that will tell us when the kegger is, uh, you know, getting low. That's a good idea. The, the thing I talked about last week. That is a good yeah. idea. Verve fountain. We could do a fountain instead. That's true. Verve water fountain. You yeah. push the button and you just... That would, that would be, be good. good. Guest 14142 says he uh, or she uh, would visit Dallas to check out the new building. I hope you will. Sweet. Um, now, apparently, we, uh, you know, we have some awesome stuff coming into the building. Uh, you know, Updesk announced uh -huh. Updesk. Uh, recently that they amazingly are going to donate up desks. The whole Stand office. Up desks to the entire office. Everybody gets an up desk. That is incredible. It's unbelievable. Um, we have to still actually, they're waiting, they're wait, we need to have a conversation with them about what kind of up desks we want, what yeah. colors. You know, they have like five different colors of tabletops. They've got different, I mean, all kinds of options, accessories. They were like, what do you, like, what what do you, do you guys need? What, what? I mean, what do we need to send you? And when you tell us, what do you want? Then, well, we, can, then we can send it to you. Well, no. But, they, I mean, also but said, like, they also said they had some kind of other surprise for us. Yeah, I don't know. And we're supposed to have a call is. with them like next week yeah. or something. So maybe we'll find out the surprise next week. I, I don't know. I don't we'll know. We'll have to see about but that. But where were you going with this anyway, with the up oh, desks? Um, I also got an email mm. from... Our friends. I'm out of verve. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, also got an email over from our friends at 45 Drives. And those guys are awesome. Those Have you guys seen? are awesome. We, uh, you mentioned. I them did the NAS. A... I did the NAS uh, episode. Like yes. the, the build, build versus buy NAS episode. Yeah. Should you build or buy? And we mentioned them in the. In and that I gotta episode. say, those things are amazing. They're red. That's all. That's the only reason the you like them. You're the like they're red. red. And they have 45 oh, check drives. It out. Thank you, Scott. I got another one. Is it safe for me to... How many of these can I actually I consume in one day, David? I don't want to know. David, I, how I'm many can scared. I drink in one day? Please don't keep bringing Is him four verbs. okay? Is four, four of these okay in one day? Because this Depends is number on, four. I'm not sure if that's okay. <laughs> I'm not sure still. Anyway, what, um, what, 45 anyway, drives. Got an email from 45 drives, yeah. and they sent us this video. What did they send us? Hi there. My name's Doug Milburn. And I'm uh, co-founder of Protocase 45 Drives. My name's Steve McNeil, and I'm the product manager. At hey, uh, Steve. So, Stephen, uh, as you know, today our friends John and Callie down at uh, Geek Beat, uh, way down there in Texas. Yep. So they're closing on their new building today. So, and you had an idea. I sure did. Well, I think at Geek Beat they use a lot of video, and it just so happens that we manufacture storage pods. So what I'm thinking about is we actually shipped them a 180 terabyte storage server free of charge. What? What did he say? So you're thinking He's shipping like us to one. ship it to them like a housewarming present? Absolutely. What? I think that's a great idea. I Let's do, do it. it. Let's Go. do it. Go. What? Yeah. What's yeah. happening over here? Well, at 45 drives and protocols, we make custom enclosures. We cut all of our enclosures into sheet metal stock. And as you can see, this is a backplace storage pod chassis that are laid out flat before they bend them up and they add the pens and all the hardware that's to make awesome. them into the actual Everything that's is made cool. in North America. Everything in North America. Uh, cool. That's a plasma torch. Stephen, what are you what? doing? What is he doing? Uh, Doug, uh, well, these things are made in Nova Scotia. And we know that Texas is, is the place of great steaks. Well, Nova Scotia, for us, it's all about the lobster. <laughs> nice. Nothing goes better together than lobster and steak. I think we should send these guys at uh, Geekby TV a lobster or two. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stink by the time it gets there. There's no refrigeration in this. Uh, That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, stupid idea. Stupid oh. idea, Steve. Okay, oh, oh we don't get any lobster. Oh, no oh. lobster. What we do here? Highlands of Cape Breton are uh, very, very Scottish.
Irish, like, and uh, they make uh, Glen Brent whiskey up there, right? Eh? Good Same stuff. Malt whiskey. Good and stuff. it's as good as any scotch and uh, absolutely wonderful. And I'm sure those guys like to have a little drink to celebrate their uh, party in there. That would be nice. Look at that sweet bottle. Oh, oh wow. wow. So, look, uh, maybe one problem with that as well. What happens when it gets to customs? Do you think they're going to like that? They might take yeah, some. I forgot about that. Might be a problem, eh? Yeah, they may not like that. They may not appreciate uh, our humor. Wait, we don't want that either. We better just pass that on. What do you, you think? Can't I think it's good. Look at now. Guys, when we go visit Geek TV, we're gonna bring that with them. We're all gonna have a drink. Nice. Yeah, they're gonna go. bring it. They're gonna come visit. Steak and whiskey. Oh, good. what else? It's on. It's on. That's right. I'll okay. drink for that. Perfect. Let's go. Well, what, what do you have here? Well, what we have is we have 180 terabyte storage for the server. Oh, God. Totally self-contained. You can see basically it has the, the, the drive base for 45 drives. It has the motherboard, CPU, power supply, and look at these fans for cooling. This, this thing keeps these drives really cool. This thing is totally self-contained, and it'll do anything that these guys at Geek are doing with their video. That's cool, and I see this one's also, uh, it's got a heavy-duty redundant power supply. Sure and, does. And look at that, solid, double solid straight uh, redundant boot drives as that well. That is awesome. Absolutely. They're gonna love that. It's gonna make things that much better. So, has that got the standard front panel on that over there? Listen, um, I couldn't give them a, a, a housewarming. Happy housewarming, Geek Meat! Happy housewarming to our friends at Geek Meat. Oh, man. They're going to love that, eh? I think they're going to love it, too. Uh, that is so awesome. Let's do it. Okay, Steven, shall we get this puppy into the box here? Absolutely. They're going to love it. Holy Jesus. Heavy things, Steven. I'm sure they'll love this. You know what? It's true. Everything's big in Texas. Everything's big in Texas. They should be able to handle it. I think so. Big data. It's heavy. It's going to be with it. Let's close the baby up and uh, let's get oh. this thing off. Oh, that is so you guys awesome. have fun with this down there, John and Callie. Yes, enjoy. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm so that excited. That is so awesome. And did they really say they're going to come here? Uh, he said that... He's going to hand deliver scotch what and I heard lobsters, was, maybe? I heard the hand delivery. Wow. That's what I heard. That is cool. From Nova Scotia. That is amazing. 180 terabytes. Ken, what are you going to do with all that? I don't even know. <laughs> what, we're going to have to buy some hard drives. Oh, gosh. Like 45 of them or something, I guess. Yikes. I don't know. That's a lot of hard drives. That's that a lot of chocolate. That is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Well, thank you, 45 drives. That is really, really cool of them. And uh, that's going to make for I'm some speechless. awesome uh, server room stuff. We can, we're going to mix that in with our QNAP stuff, <laughs> and we've got some Drobo stuff, right. we've got some Synology stuff. We're going to have like the most eclectic uh, uh, you know, collection of storage, yeah. but we need it. Yeah. We need it because and, and we have 100 terabytes of storage right. already. That particular box will hold 180, and I think that's 180 if you do like... Four like terabyte 40, drives. Right. If you slap in five terabyte drives, Ooh, yeah. it'd be over two hundred terabytes. So between that and the and the other ones, we're gonna be able to really expand our our storage capacity. And Shocker says that I won't have to need I won't need a desk heater anymore, a space heater, and just put that in our office, right? Yeah, maybe, you could put it right up put under it your in desk. Server room. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not, you will have fun fixing that, as Tech Guy says. Oh, yeah, they're Please not gonna... don't touch 45 drives. Hi, Hubert. How are you? Hey, Hubert. Uh, yeah, I think Ken will not let me near that. I can't believe they put our name on it. That was amazing. That is so cute. Wow. Uh, oh. I think Ken, if I get anywhere near that box, he's going to use Asian trickery to <laughs> punish me. He will might. not let me do that. <laughs> Uh, uh, everybody, fact, everybody's I need more to, excited about the uh, scotch here. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep my katana away from Ken. That's yeah, all I know. That you might want to have a, like a little safe in your in your office. Wow. That, Will there now be a Geek Beat Cloud? <laughs> we could do that. We could we have could. the Geek Cloud. We could we could. We, we could use we could use these things to to set up like geek, the Geek Cloud where yeah. everybody could store their junk on yeah. it. Yeah. You know, if they're going to visit anyway... But we're going to need a lot of bandwidth. If they're going to visit, maybe we should just uh, have them teach you how to use it, you know, and the, show you what to do. You think Ken is going to let them teach me how to use it? Probably not. He might let them teach him how to use it. Anyway, thanks, guys. Yes, that thank is super you. sweet. We can't wait to get our, our hands on that. Um, so another question that came uh, while I was live blogging and tweeting all of this stuff this morning was uh, what, what are we going to name the building? 
Oh, I don't know, but somebody had a good a good suggestion. Yeah, so we actually we got these suggestions. There are a couple of really good ones. Geek House was the first one. That's um, a pretty good one. I, I got like that one. The Geek House. The Geek House. What do you Where guys are you going? Think? I'm, going I'm going to the, to the Geek, geek House. house. Uh, geek Retreat, because it, it kind of rhymes. Geek Retreat. The geek Retreat. Pretty uh, good. H, lowercase o, capital G, hog, house of geeks, uh, house of cards, house of geeks. Uh, yeah. I get, yeah. I see what you did there. The Cali Linux house. Of course, Cali spelt K for the Cali Linux kernel. Yeah. Right. Uh, the Cali Lewis house. I like that one personally. I don't know about you guys. What do you think, John? No? You're not I, gonna go with that one, are you? I, well, first of all, I it, tried. Would, it wouldn't matter because I'm not really the boss. So Kelly's crib. I, I mean, you guys are gonna call it whatever you call it to start <laughs> with. So uh, we all know it's gonna be the house of Cali. So <laughs> I think that could be its nickname. The question is, what's it gonna be? Its official name? It's not just mine, guys. I don't this know. is our entire teams, and as we said earlier. Ours, it, you, you included. Know what? It's it, not just, it has nothing to do with me. That is true. It's about everybody. But it could be called the House of Ken. It could. Because <laughs> Ken is the one who's going to wire the whole damn thing up. Ken is the one who's going to have control over all of the automated badge access to the building. Right. Which means if Ken decided to lock himself in there and keep us all out, not much we could do about it, right. to be honest. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we also have uh, the Lobster Shack. The Lobster um, Shack. Yeah, I like that one. Although we may have a lot of people showing up for meals. Well, they, they think we that's what we do anyway. Yeah. Um, Callie's Crib, nice. Lobster Emporium. How about... Living uh, Lobster Trap. Harump said Geek Garage. Ooh. The Geek... Hubert said Geek Pentagon. <laughs> nice. Oh, also somebody came up with uh, Geek Central. Geek Central is a good one. I like That's Geek a Central. good one. The Geek House or Geek Central. I like having, GC. You know, I like having. Where are you going, GC? We could even I make a gang that. sign for it. It'd be like G. I can't get my G G C. The Fortress of Geek. It could Geek be the GC Detude. like that, right? Where are you NSA going, South, GC? The Lobster Cave, the Creepy House, nice. But you know what? I like having Geek in the name. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to the lobster, I like obviously I like the lobster thing, but having geek in the house really like sets the tone as opposed to restaurant. <laughs> so the lobster the tone pot. Of what we yeah. do, right? I'm opening my verb. I don't care. All right, go for the fourth. Um. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna. Eric says just call it the geek house. Yeah. But, but interesting. Look what he did. He put geek house all together as one word with. Uh, Where. Uh, Oh, uh, on um, YouTube comment, oh, Geek okay. House, Geek with the H capitalized, but all one word, Geek House. Yeah. Like, it's not the Geek House, it's the Geek House. Right. House of Geek, Freebirds Annex. <laughs> the Freebirds Annex. <laughs> so nice. We could annex Freebirds. Why not? I think we could take them. The Geek Shack, I like that one. See, I'm logging all of them right now. Tommy G said the Geek as Center. As you guys tell me. The Geek Center. Yeah, the Geek Center. But didn't we say Geek Central? Geek, uh huh. Digital Phil wants to call it Posaziti's place. Yeah, that that would go well. Uh, I like Rev Tutcher, the Fortress of Geekitude. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Fortress. Pretty good one. Uh huh. Uh, Geek HQ. Geek HQ could be Geek HQ. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. The Gamma House. Bo Bobage said, "No, they're on Gamma Road. It could be the Gamma House." That's it's true. It's true. Our That's address. True. In case, by the way, for of those course, of you, we're going to have a lot of people showing up wanting to pledge. That's true. Well, we are Greek. No, we are not. We're no. Greek. I say we stop this building right now and find we're an Greek. Italian street we can name. Do that. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't yeah. believe it's just hitting me. It makes sense, doesn't it, that we uh. would buy? A building on a Greek street, Gamma. I do not it like makes this. Sense. Uh, by the way, for those of you who want to see, actually see where the building is, yeah. pull up your old Google Maps, go to 13702 Gamma Road. Great. Now I have a bad taste in my mouth. Dallas, Texas, 75244. And you can actually look at it. And you can do a, like a street view and all that other stuff. Right. The building's right there. You can check it out. See Alpha where it is. Beta Geek. I like that. That's Alpha cute. Beta Geek. Um, lambda, Lambda, Lambda. Right. Geek Street House. Skynet Towers, Greek Steve Geek. said. 
Hubert also suggested Geek Land. Geek Portal. Geek Q. Geek Q. Orion yeah. said. Geek a free. <laughs> I like that, Space Bats. Geek a free. Some people are not going to get that that is a play on the doctor's home planet. Right. Of Gallifrey. That's true. It's Geek a free. Yes. Uh, somebody said earlier, I think it was Digital Phil, all that, ma all that matters is that it's the home of the uh, Geek Beat uh, swimsuit team. That is true. That so. is true. We've got to. I am doing. I am. It is currently open enrollment time for the Geek Beat bikini team. We will be holding so, auditions next week. I'm yeah. sure of it. Ladies, even though I say no, I'm sure it will happen because eventually I'm going to have to give John some keys. And by the way, so. that reminds me of my new favorite geek, Stephanie Martin. Ah, uh, yes. Do we have a picture of that? I do. It's on my desktop right, wallpaper. Close up. My desktop <laughs> close wallpaper. Up. Cubby. Cubby. Uh, Work. My... I was looking at <laughs> he, was, yeah, well, he was a little uh, everybody distracted. Everybody wants to see my desktop wallpaper. This is really cool because look at how awesome this badge is. It's red. It's livid lobster red, right? Yeah, it's amazing. And it just it looks like it just slips right in there. I think this is an awesome picture. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Anywho, uh, yeah, <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie Martin, uh, good, good, good fan. She, best, she, best she might fan have to ever. <laughs> best fan ever. She might have to be part of the uh, the bikini team, maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, I was thinking about the Geek Beat bikini team. Yeah, yeah. So for all of you ladies who are wanting to be part of the Geek Beat bikini team, you can show up to the building pretty much any time you want, just in a bikini. Show up. You're basically on the bikini team if you do that. It, right. You know, so just for what it's worth. Livid Lounge was a suggestion, and might I tell you, this is hilarious. Maybe not to you, but to me. So the other day, <laughs> a sales guy from Dish mm. walked in the door with a clipboard and a list of his sales calls, right? Um, and he was targeting people who are either opening or renovating restaurants. Oh. And so he was focused on restaurants, right? And so he walks in and he says, um, so I, I hear you guys are maybe opening a restaurant soon? Looking around at all of our gear like, I don't understand how this is. Yeah, this is tasty like, right, right in here. And so then I said, no, that, you know, I said, Livid Lobster, you know, maybe you, you, you just misunderstood. We, we do video production. And uh, he said, no, I, I have you right here. It says Livid Lounge. Like, well, then it must literally, be true. Literally, he had, he had, we had gotten on some list because we've been getting mail of all kinds. For Livid Lounge? For Livid Lounge. So now we have become a restaurant, uh, according to who knows who, okay. which is awesome. Everybody's asking, can guys submit for the bikini team? Well, first of all, If they look no. like Todd? No, you cannot. Yes. I, I submit... Todd Abrams and Jeff will join the uh, bikini team in Speedos, maybe. No? Okay, fine. Callie we have can to have, have some guys, maybe because you want, can have the male, the male. You want to lift the women up at some point, right? You have to have a guy that can handle that. No, I'm the guy that handles lifting the women up. That's true. That's true. Hmm. But, I, okay, okay. We're going to be equal opportunity because some people are, some people happen to be women. <laughs> I know it's strange, but some people do, and some, even some guys happen to be gay, and that's f totally fine. I totally don't care. So you get your eye candy, too. Yes. You can have Todd and Jeff and all the bodybuilder friends, as long as I can have the bikini team. Though, you know, you might have to join yourself after Todd and Jeff get done with you through our Torture oh. Time training program. You might have to, I, you might be able to pick three women up by the end of this program. Project. I like, he, he's called it project, right? I don't know why every, okay, when did, when did they come to the studio to announce that we were doing that? Wednesday. When, so why is it that some, from Wednesday till now, we can't go more than like three hours without you bringing up the fact that on Monday, they're going to start torturing me? I just want you to remember that Like you, I don't remember. Well, you know I just what? want like 72 hours of solitude before the torture I just and you won't even give me that. I just want to remind you, John, that one day here on the live show, oh, you literally brother. shot my eye out with a rubber band gun. I just want you to remember that. Great. 
Okay. I yeah. never, it's never going to go away, is it? It's <laughs> never going to go away. Smuckers asks, my favorite coffee brand? Uh, right now, I, I'm not, I'm loving the, um, the uh, coffee direct, coffee uh, bean direct dot com. They sent me a whole box full of coffee. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And on Wednesday's show, if you did not see that, go back and watch it because I was totally hyped up on Coffee Bean Direct coffee because they have all sorts of cool stuff, like awesome flavors. Anyway, right now that's what I'm hopped up on. I'm hopped up on Verve. I don't know what you are. And you can get your own if you go to vervegeek.com. When I want some tea, I have my Verve party. You should get bold. Go it's a there. Party. It's a, don't oh, that, don't I can't play say around. That. Go to vervegeek.com and order your case right. of bold right now. Don't let me come through this camera right. at you. <laughs> All right. So should we open up some boxes? Is in, yeah. Do we have anything else to talk about with the building? Well, IT Serenity Rob wants to know if the new building is going to have a hot tub. I think that <gasps> if we have a... Yes. Uh, I think if we have a bikini theme, we should have a hot tub. Totally. Um, I don't Are know, we going to have a gym? I don't know why we wouldn't. No, we're not going to have a gym. Why not? What? Well, I'm, I, I know one thing as I'm going to find somebody to give me a, a treadmill desk, you know, a treadmill to put under my up desk, and I will at least have a gym in my office. You just have to take everything fun and just <laughs> suck the fun out of it by making it into work, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set these over here. Rooftop parties, once we get the roof replaced, maybe. Yeah, we, but, you know, I, I, I'm wondering when we'll be able to... Uh, when will we be able to get a solar panel on the roof? I want the building to go green. Yes, but we have to pay for the building first, and we have to pay for all these renovations. So that's going to that's gonna take a little time. It's only like $100,000 to yeah, get the solar. Yeah, that's going to take a little time. <sighs> all right, you know what doesn't take any time? Opening boxes! Opening boxes. We have, wow, we have small to very large today. What do you mm, want to go first? Let's go small first. Small first. Work okay. it up to the to the big ones. Here is really here's the smallest package we have. Yeah. And this is actually not even something that was this isn't really an unboxing. This, what this is, is actually for you guys. It is for you. Look at that. Can you see that right there? It's from Sticker Mule. You know you what that do the means. Honors? Yeah. Go ahead. All I have to do is one. Um all right. So Yo, you're these, actually opening them. Yeah, I am. Go for it. <laughs> these are the first set of stickers that we're shipping you guys uh, who are patrons at the, what, $15 $15 level? and up level. And up. These are our little lo lobsters. Cute, huh? Do, does it? Wait. Our what? lobster doesn't even have a name, does he? We don't have a name for our lobster. Wow. No. How has it been so long? I don't know. And we That's don't a have a point, name for John. our lobster. I don't know. Somebody needs to name him. But look at that. Yeah. Um, we've got all these little lobsters, and they are really nice. They're made of vinyl, and they, did you notice how good looking they are? They do look good. They're matte. Amazing looking. Louis so, or Larry? Yep. Livy so, is the lobster. Livy is that lobster. This is I only one of the designs. We have a lot more stickers on their way, but with the the way oh, they were. Oh, you're right. We did Larry or Lewis or something. We did have Larry a, or we something. We did choose a name. The way that they get ordered, they get ordered like in certain little batches. Right. That one arrived first, but the others will be coming in over the next several days. Awesome. And uh, so we, when we and also the T-shirts are going to be in Tuesday. Tuesday. So we should be able to start shipping those out next Ooh, week. What is that? That made some noise. Who's this from? Rack studs. <gasps> Rack studs. This came all the way from Auckland, New Zealand. Home of the Hobbits? Uh, yeah, New Zealand. Home of the Hobbits. Um, okay, did you guys see... When did I do... Oh, you I did, did a little... I just when? did a little thing last about the week, Rack studs. Week, right? Was it this week or last week? I have not... I had not seen these ever before in my life. I did not know they existed. Ben, link us. Yeah, hit us with a link, Ben. I did not know these things existed. I came across them. Actually, know what it was? I know what it was. We did our big NAS episode. Right. And the guys over at Rack Studs tweeted at us. Right. And, and I saw that. And I was like, That's interesting. oh, my God. That, that's kind of cool. Then I started looking. I was like, oh, my God. Where have you been all my life? And then guess what they did? They shipped us some, they it looks like. They sent us some to play oh, with. Cool. 
Now, some of you are like, what are rack studs? Yeah, what are they, John? And we're not talking about Todd and Jeff right now, okay? Can we talk about Todd? Do we have a picture no, of Todd and Jeff? No, we don't. No? We can't talk about Todd oh, and Jeff. Too bad. Oh, great. There's Todd. <laughs> we do have a picture. Nice. That's Todd. <laughs> great. Now I feel uh, yeah, wholly John, inadequate. You got some work to do there. All anyway, right. okay, so what we're talking about, when you have enterprise kind of uh, equipment, you put it in racks in server rooms and data centers and things. And what you have to do is the racks have holes on them. You have to take this stupid metal screw, like a metal nut, and clip it in from the back. It, it's impossible to clip in. And half the time, when you're trying to clip it in, it's so hard to get in that it springs out and falls down and you can't hardly get to it. It's a pain in your butt. <laughs> now, on top of that, then you, let's say you get the little, the, the little nuts mounted. Now you got this piece of equipment. You need to hold it up there right. and they're heavy. Yeah. They're like 20, 30 pounds. You got to hold it up there like with one hand. Now you have to get a screw and somehow get it in there and use a drill. You only have two hands and you need minimum of three or four. I don't know, I've seen you do this and it looks like a, a lot of fun. At least I, I have a lot of fun making fun of you and yeah. laughing at you during the process. So what they did <laughs> is, and I don't know who can, because racks like that, Ken, how long do you think they've had those stupid nut things Forever. in existence? 30 years? Forever, okay? Somebody had this brilliant idea that you take these little, these little studs, you just snap them into the rack. Oh, look, that's how you do it. Oh, I swear to God, like the this old is kind. Yeah, you do that, and then bang! Oh, oh. No, that is not just an enactment. That really happens to right. people every time. Now, then you got to hand thread those things in while holding that thing, and then after you do that, you got to try. Uh, forget it. Here's what you do. <laughs> We're gonna to get to the good part here, I think. These are the rack studs. And look, I have them in my greedy little hands. Wait, wait, so he just held it up look, there and Look, that's how it just... works. You see that red part? The red part, you snap it in. Now there's a little oh, so stud. no screwing. No, no, there, you, 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 you snap that in and there's a stud sticking out on the front. Now they're showing how strong they are. You can't pull them out. But you have the little stud sticking out and you stick your piece right over the stud, okay, here, I don't know if we can get a, a close-up on that. See, that's the little stud. Now you take your other piece, you stick it right over that, and because you have like four of these, it's much easier to hold. You stick it over there, and then you put the little yellow piece here, right there, which prevents this from ever coming out once this thing is screwed in. So the uh, device goes in between Yeah, here. it goes right there, and you just screw that in, and you're done. Nice. No tools. That is awesome. Ridiculous. That's cool. So uh, you're gonna do a review? Uh, I mean, are these going in our? our yeah, new, they uh, look. Our they sent us like hundreds of these things. How, how so many? How many devices can we rack? We can rack our new 45, 45 yeah! drive thing with them. We can rack our QNAPs and everything else. We'll rack it all with rack studs. Wait, what and is we'll this? We'll let you guys know how it this works looks out. This different. What, what is, is this? that? Are these keychains? Key they that sent us cute. 45. They sent us rack oh, studs keychains. That it. is so uh, Look, there's a pink one for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the red. <laughs> that is really awesome. Cool. Okay, thanks guys. Now you can have a rack stud or uh, no, now you can have a stud everywhere you go. Oh, <laughs> like that. nice. I like that. <laughs> nice. And look, they sent us little sticker things that yeah. we can put on it says, uh, do not transport rack when mounted populated. with rack studs. Yeah, do not transport when populated. Because people think, oh, it's so securely rack studded, no problem. We'll just move it around. No, don't do that. That's not <laughs> what good. What else? Idea. Oh, okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, somebody had a suggestion. You should name it the uh, BBT uh, Studio. <laughs> yeah, the BBT Studio, because they paid for it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. What flavor do the rack studs come in? Oh, cherry. Delicious. I don't know. Okay, we've got, like, I'm... Go with now, that one. Which one? This I don't one? know. Just, yeah, why not? Okay, this one right here. Why not? Okay, here's a box. We have... We've got a couple of boxes inside this box from Manhattan. Oh, nice. Uh, little Bluetooth speakers. The Lyric Duo. Take 
with that. Nice. Okay. Wait, this looks like it this opens. This opens. Oh, oh, there's. Okay. Oh, it just. Uh, we, it was supposed Ooh, to slide outside. Nice. Oh, nice. Ooh, look at that. So these are little Bluetooth speakers. The little cubes. Now, the, since there's two of them, uh, I am are they guessing, stereo? I am guessing that those are stereo pair. Nice. Let me read. It's called the Lyric Duo Multi-Link Bluetooth Technology Full Stereo Sound USB Chargeable. And they're pretty. They're nice and stainless steel. Okay, we've got a Comes charging with, port right here. Um, oh, mode, pairing buttons, power buttons. Uh, this is interesting. So they can be, it says they can be placed anywhere within 15 feet of each other. Okay. This and, is different. Uh, they have the controls on the bottom of the speaker as opposed to like on the top or the side. That's pretty because cool. Because they're small, so that, that makes a lot of sense. They're good looking. They yeah. feel good. I like it. They're light. We'll have to crank these things up. They're aluminum, so that's high quality. Yeah. What else came in uh, here? That's really cool. Sound that stays with you. Manhattan, let's see. It Those looks look like, like headphones. headphones. NFC headphones. The NFC. Fathom wireless headphones. All right. Noise canceling. There we go. It says noise canceling microphone, Bluetooth, NFC. And look, see? they fold. They're folding. What? <laughs> They're folding Bluetooth NFC. Can they get any oh, yeah, more technology in them? Hey, nice. cool! They've got orange ear inside earpieces. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That cool. And I noticed there's a bag, a carry bag oh, for cool. them. And then we have uh, phone controls, volume controls on this the right uh, ear, right there. And it comes with a, uh, a USB cable and also an audio cable. So actually. It looks like you could use them as in wired mode or wireless mode. Oh, okay, yeah. So cool. you can fold those up and stick them in their bag. There you go. Very nice. Right nice. Very nice. Okay, we'll give those a try. All we'll right. let you guys know. I'm wondering how much are these, folks? Yeah. Somebody look it up for us. These and, are uh, IT Serenity Rob just uh, got his uh, rack studs order in. Oh, nice. These are the Manhattan. Fathom wireless headphones, F-A-T-H-O-M, Fathom wireless headphones. How much do they go for? They may be brand new. They may not be going yeah, for anything yet. Not. I hope that they weren't like embargoed and we just yeah, broke it or because we opened them here on the set. Here, we're going to open this one. Okay. What you got? I don't know yet. Let me see. I guess somebody took it out of a box. Oh, Watch God. out. This, I just sharpened this. <laughs> so, uh, How do you think I'll stay over here? Um, Actually, that, that knife gave me She this. cut herself with my... That's why Callie doesn't get to play with knives. She cut herself the other night. I did. What do we have? I was working on something for the new building. Ow! Oh my gosh. Do you know what this is? I do not. It looks like a battery, uh, like a, a mic pack or something. Oh, Cublin is going to lose his mind about this one. <laughs> Cubby. Cubby. These are the <laughs> new flash this is a new Flashpoint Studio strobe light for photographers. Wow. And a battery pack. Oh, it's just a battery pack. Got it. it no, okay. this is the battery yeah. pack. This is the strobe. Nice. It, uh, this is a flash, people. This is a flash for like high end photography. Cool. So if we wanted to, let's say, have Callie model for us Why in would the you studio, want to do that? because she's a model, we would use these with our big daddy camera and pow, nice. we'd hit you with some really fa fast, yep. powerful flash. Uh, we can tailor these things. So I don't know anything about these yet. Fast recycle times from 0.05 to 2.6 seconds. Now the way that works on these types of flashes, when it says there's a range from 0.05 to 2.6, what that usually means is at full power output, it takes 2.6 seconds, like pop. Wait, 2.6, pop. Hmm. But if you turn it down to like one quarter, it can go pop, 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 pop. So you can take pictures much quicker that way, okay? Cool. The battery pack would allow you to be able to use it when you're on the go and not have to be plugged into a wall somewhere. Well, you so, and Cubby are going to have some fun with yeah, that, Yeah, these aren't came you? from Adorama. I can't stop calling him Cubby because it's just so funny. That's his name now. Okay, you so like that name? we're gonna. I'm gonna teach you. Yeah, ah. look, he, dibs. He's already claimed dibs. See, there, there they go. There they go. 
we will teach you guys instead of just doing a little product demo on that I don't think that does you any good what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set them up and show you how to use them with your photography because I think that's far more useful you know what I mean yeah okay maybe we might make you actually we might make you pose okay <laughs> we might make you strike a pose I don't know if you'll like get it, it strike a pose nice I can strike a pose ow, ow. <laughs> see I just said <laughs> ow because I just wanted you to I just wanted you to think it was an owl, but reality, <laughs> that's what happens when you hit the pose. It hurts you. Right. What is this? Uh, I don't know, but I just want to point out a comment from Eric. Yeah, what do he say? John is Greek, Callie is Italian, Callie's ancestors ruled over John's. And now, what do we have here? Let's see. You can blame Reval? my father for that. Oh, the It was Reval. my father's weak, weak ancestors <laughs> who let the Italians run all over them. Right. I don't know what happened. What is this? Oh, the re reveal, reveal. How do how do we pronounce reveal? That? Reveal, right? Oh yeah. Cool. We talked to these yeah, guys. We, did. we interviewed them before. So, the reveal devices, what they are, uh, you stick these in line between your media player and your headphones, and um, what they do. Oh, it from, has an easy I, open. Yeah, it's that. easy easy open Maybe. package. I like that. What they do? There's one for each of us. What they do is uh, they, they, they kind of improve the sound. It's almost like applying an equalizer to it. Did they fix the sound? Uh, when you, oh, here we go. <laughs> Did they fix it? Like the website? I can't get mine open. Can you fix your package? Because I've already got I mine. I know, here right? We go. <laughs> it's actually really nice. It's very small. It's lightweight. It's good looking. I like these. I like the kind of industrial, cool industrial look. Got a power switch up here. Got a bypass here on it. In your, you go input from the uh, device, output to your headphones. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try. They're rechargeable. Uh, it's got a USB port right down here on the bottom for recharging. And basically, they're supposed to be pretty mindless. You plug in, you plug your headphones in, bam, sounds better. You nice. don't have to figure it out you don't have to do anything crazy it's just automatic plug it in plug it in listen oh my god that's cool. the way it's supposed to work i'll nice. let you know if it does yeah what else do we have uh let's see let's and see. uh smuckers what was my first uh video game system it was the um the nintendo my dad got it for me, and I played uh, Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers each morning before my sisters would wake up. <sighs> We're going to open the big one next. Okay, let's do it. My first video game system was a TI-99 4A that my dad got me. A what? You were not even born <laughs> when I got that. I just like to throw that out. You know. Oh, you just like to throw out that you weren't even born when I got it? You were probably uh -huh. born. I think you were maybe two. Maybe, yeah. I'm guessing. I think I was about 12 or 13, which would have made you like nothing. How old are you? At the time. I'm not old. All right, what do we have? We have a big box. <gasps> is it too heavy for you? <sighs> this is a big box. Wow. And let's see what we have in this box. Uh, you want to move your verve? Don't spill my verve. I know that would upset it you takes tremendously. Nerve to spill my verb. <laughs> nice. This, what is this? This is from Pro Am oh. USA. Dear John, thanks for taking time to review our new Telescopium camera crane. Ooh, that's We look fancy. forward to your feedback. <laughs> cool. And it says we installed the optional tilt brake on your crane. Oh, like for tilting the camera? Okay. Whoa. Well, pull it out, whip it out. Move that box. All right, this is securely packaged. Yes, it is. And you wanna, you're not you allowed to, to that? touch that. Nope, nope, <laughs> you cannot do that because you like to fix your fingers <laughs> with right. my knife. I don't think my fingers have enough holes in them. Yep, so we don't need any of that. Let's check this out. So, you want to tell them what a crane is? Uh, it's kind of like a jib. Yeah, it is. It's like Pretty a jib. Um, it, it extends the uh, reach of your camera angle, so you can get up, 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 and away. How far does this go? I don't know. It's called the telescopium. Yeah. So can somebody look it up for us? It's the Pro-Am Pro Telescopium 
Um, tell us, how. what's the reach on this bad boy? How much does it cost? What do we know about it? Inquiring minds need to know these things. So there's a piece right there. So don't okay, lose that. let me get that. It is well Every, packaged. Everybody and needs a crane. Eight feet, they're saying. Eight foot. Okay. That's a long way. And that's a that's that a long That lets you way. get your what you do is you've got the you know, normally like right now, all of the cameras you're looking at us through are uh, at eye level, right. essentially. We could raise those cameras way, way up and get a downward shot or uh, reach around the corner or something like that. So for certain applications, like, you know, when you're storytelling and it's stuff. $300. You Oh, it's 300 bucks? Yeah, That's a good deal. It is. Oh, wow, it's made, I mean, this is nice. It feels nice. Ken's I'm gonna I'm like this one. I'm impressed at the size of the compact, um, you know, version. If it goes if to eight If this really feet. goes to eight feet, that's impressive. Um, is this like a little stand? Or is it part of the crane? Uh, I think that is something that you can use. Yep, I'll show you what that's going to do. Here's, I will show, I will demonstrate. Nice, look at that. Okay, here's the crane. Now, just so you see what this is, I think this is a bar for mounting. Uh, it's going to mount on one end Somewhere, or the other yeah. that would allow you to then mount additional um, accessories oh, okay, to yeah, it. Okay, yeah. I think that's what that is. Now, let's see here. So this is the part down here that mounts on your, oh, sweet. Is it? It is rotating. <gasps> By itself. Oh, my God. Nice. That is smooth. Look that at that. Is. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. Very I just nice. touch it and let go. That is amazing. So what happens is, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to flip these latches right here. There's a little latch there and a little latch there, and we're going to extend it. Wow, look at that. <laughs> uh, there's we're, no way yeah, you're going to get gonna that be able to on camera. Eight feet. Okay, that is, that is only one of the two extensions, okay? Wow. That's just one of them. So you can see where we would now be able to get that down low. <laughs> Will our iPhone way down fit on, low? The, you way can't even fit on see. the crane? Way down low and then <laughs> way up high. Let's see here. <laughs> way up high. And this nice. is only one of the extensions. Right. Okay, it's got a whole really other cool. one here. So you would put weights on the other end to counterbalance it, and it's actually pretty smooth. Wow. So uh, it needs a little bit of adjustment to make sure that the end is perfectly flat there. And then, you know, <laughs> that is really cool. Okay, guys, what we'll do is we'll take some... Hey, maybe we can take it over to the new studio. We definitely could do that, but I'm anxious to take some, some, uh, some sample... Yeah. footage with this and show you guys because it is actually three hundred dollars but are that you sure about that ben really i'm sure he looked really it up. cheap so i like it the action cool. is really nice on yeah, that it looks okay we'll, we'll we'll do a full-on review for you guys later on all right we've got like uh else? two more okay two more packages here uh which do you want to go for fedex or brown box fedex it is what do we what got do we in the FedEx here? package? More headphones! <laughs> Yay! These are your buds. These are, oh, these are the earbuds. The year, are, earbud yes, focus. The earbud focus. Actually, uh, if you guys remember, we did uh, some, last year at CES, uh, a special video where they literally flipped over me on screen and didn't know it was coming, but that was to show how well the uh, earbuds stay in place. That you was know? the earbuds? That was the earbuds. Oh, I remember, I remember that. Well, oh, here we go. So let's pull these out. These are the Bluetooth wow, earbuds. Wow, those are awesome looking. And uh, they have these nice little uh, silicone gels. Why is it that, that you've really gotten all the headphones lately? I don't get any of them. That's because, did you see, if you're a patron at the $15 a month level, you saw a behind the scenes picture of me uh, and my review process for these things. It's intense. Can I have these? No. Oh. All mine. Then you don't get to play with the jib. I mean the crane. The jib slash crane. It's mine. That's Gross. mine. And what? you don't get any strobes either. And no strobes. You get no strobe action. Yet I have to model for you for the strobes? Well, yeah, you have to do that. How is that fair? It's your job. I don't think that's in one. my title description. I mean, my uh, job description. 
I don't well, think that that was in the contract I signed. Uh, Hubert, by the way, said John P is Greek. He is the personification of wisdom. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You're wow. right. What would You're you, right. What are you trying wisdom. to get from John? Exactly, Hubert. What What is it that you would like him to do for you? Modesty. Yeah, modesty. All of these definitely. great things. Modest is how Let's I would describe it. Let's see what we've you. got in this brown box. This is the last one for the day. Looky what we have here. You don't even know what that is. What? You know what? I know what it is. Why? Why do I know what that is? Dad, why do I know that is? Because I'm Greek. What? That makes because no sense Greek, at all. Greek is the personification of wisdom, which means I know what would this is. Would you just open it? Okay, we'll open it. Modest, this. Modesty. And modesty. And I'm also very, I'm the most modest person you'll probably ever know. <laughs> this is the Aegis Padlock SSD. Do you know what you're looking at? No, I have an idea. No, you Explain don't. Explain it to you me. You don't know what you're looking okay, at. Okay, I don't, apparently. I know nothing because I'm just a stupid Italian. Or a stupid girl. <laughs> name, name the uh, We're the gonna quote. let you model for us. <laughs> right. Um, okay, this. My friends. Tell me. Wow, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. I actually That's what thought. She said. Oh, that was yeah, pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. I like that. Timing, good timing, execution. It was all good. <laughs> this, my friends, in this tiny little package, it looks like a simple numerical pad. It is not. Okay. This has a USB 3 connector. Wait, why do I want a numerical pad on my computer? Because this is security? a portable storage drive. No. That has physical That's hardware what I was guessing encryption. from SSD. That is cool. So what happens is you program it with a key and lock it. Now, do what you want. You cannot get anything off of this drive until somebody unlocks it with a key. You plug it into your machine, Okay. doesn't matter until you unlock it with the keypad. Now, I'm not done yet. So I can, all I have to do to access your stuff is put one, two, three, four, because that's your password, correct? Pretty much, that's my password okay. everywhere. Just but, sure. that's not all. That's not all, folks. That is not all, folks. There's more, but wait, there's more. <laughs> this thing is also supposedly Almost indestructible. Okay, you what can, you mean? I mean, waterproof. Indestructible by John P? I don't know. That's what we're going to find oh. out. I told him, I said, I sent them an email. I said, sounds interesting, guys. If you really think that that thing is secure, send me one. Okay. I'll tell you if that thing is secure. <laughs> Ken and I are going to do our worst to this thing. Nice. I kid you not. We're going to put some data on it. We're going to lock it, and I am going to torture this device. <laughs> and then, when I'm done physically torturing this device, we'll see if it works. And if it's still working, I am going to hand it to Ken, but I am not going to give him the password. Okay. And Let's I'm going to say, if can. see if you can get stuff off of it. Okay. There you go, Ben's that got the pricing. That sounds like an awesome challenge. $429 for 120 gigs, $629 for 240 and $999 for, I can't see, it's off the screen. Uh, but the point is, secure, hardened data storage. Nice. We'll see if it holds up. Oops, oh. I dropped it. <laughs> really? It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're going to run over it with the truck. You went, I swear you went to God, that route? I swear to God, I'm going to run over this with my truck. That you sounds like see. fun. You wait and see. All, all right. right. Well. Pretty cool. Pretty that's cool exciting. stuff. We have all sorts of work to do now. I've got to go test more earbuds. I've got to go sign contracts right. to send in for the building. we got to start this process. The city has to approve everything, and then contractors have to get in there. The we asbestos have to turn on people gas, have to get in there. Water, electricity, internet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of stuff. So look for Monday's episode. We'll get it out to you as soon as possible. Uh, we have a lot of work to do this weekend. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you. I hope you had a good time. We did. Yep, indeed. Uh, be sure to go ahead on over to geekbeat.tv, test out the new site, play with it. Join the forums. Make some friends. Have some discussions. And uh, as always, we're in the IRC chat room as often as we can be, but someone is in there 24-7. So geekbeat.tv slash live. I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye, guys. 
All right. Well, Jandy, send me an email. Send me an email. What are you running on generator right now, Mike G said. Well, when you say generator, well, do you mean, do you mean the new building? Yeah, because we, it has a generator. The new building has a generator, if that's what you're asking me about. And that generator is a big daddy generac. It's a generac, a generac. that is natural gas powered. So if we lose primary power from the electrical grid, then what happens is we have UPS systems in the building. And I don't mean the little portable UPSs right. like you put, I'm talking like a big, big daddy ones. friggin' UPS that is a battery. So uh, the stuff is plugged into the UPS and if the power goes down, the UPS instantly is providing that stuff power, but it won't last forever. So then the generator kicks in. The UPS is basically just a oh. bridge. <laughs> Mike, I was actually just making a joke because you said you have to turn on the electricity. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. After that entire explanation. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that was funny. Sheila, He's like, yeah, shut up. I was just making a joke. Sheila wants you to liquid ass my office. Oh, the if, I, is, if I weren't right across from him, I would totally do that. I'm going to have to find another alternative that I can live with as well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, he'll do it because he doesn't, he's not in the office. You have to be nice to me, Cubby. <laughs> you have to be nice to he me. He said why? Oh, because I'll give you the doggy eyes. <laughs> Sheesh. <All right. laughs> you don't want the, the puppy eyes from Callie. They're, they're pretty much, you just can't, re you can't resist them. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, well, uh, we, uh, as we said, we have a lot to do, so we're going to head off. But uh, we'll be around this weekend a little bit. And just any questions you have, any thoughts on naming the building, send them our way. Tweet them or no, Google Plus or no, anything like No, no, don't that. do that. Oh, okay, don't do that then. I guess we'll set up uh, something on the forum? Yes. Yes. We that. have forums. Dude, Let's start a conversation get, on the forums to to that. that says what to name the building. And everybody can respond to that with your with your suggestions and your voting and things like that. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll do that. Love you too, IT Serenity Rob, and all the rest of you guys as well. We will see you later. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye guys.